Hello, in this video we show you how to customize your home screens on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now there's loads of options that we can't possibly cover in one video because it's so personal uh, depending on your particular setup. But as you can see, we've got home screens on the Note 3 that we can actually scroll through like so. Now what we can do is we can pinch, as I just showed there, and we get an overview of all our home screens. We can add a home screen by pressing the plus icon. We can remove a home screen by pressing and holding and dragging it up to the bin like so. This could even include one that's got content on it. So we could go remove and it says it will remove the screen and the items it contains. Fine, okay, let's get rid of it. Or you could cancel it. Now you'll see by a little white house icon that this one is currently set as our home screen, but if we wanna change that to our home screen, we can, so when we press the home button, we now take them to this screen instead. But I want that one, so that's now been set. And like I say, we can add the additional screens if we want by pressing the plus icon. So now back at our home screen, we can flick through, and I wanna customize this a little bit more. So if I press and hold, I'm gonna get a variety of different options. So the first is set wallpaper, and I can set different wallpapers for my home screen, which is what you see here, or the lock screen that is uh, when the device is powered off. Um, or you can have the same one. So let's go for different ones. So let's change the home screen. So the gallery I can go into, and I could select a personal picture. So let me go and select that picture, for example. I may be asked to crop it depending on the configuration of the image in terms of its actual size and positioning, etc. So there I am cropping it, moving it. Right, that's what I want. Click done. And now that's changed it. If I turn the device off and then back on, you'll see my lock screen has got a completely different image to my home screen. But I can press and hold and I can set wallpaper. I can set the home screen again, and I can choose again from where I want it. So let's go for pre-installed wallpapers, and I can select one of the ones that Samsung offers out of the box. So let's select that one, set wallpaper, and that's now my wallpaper. The principle is the same when you go for um, setting the wallpaper for the lock screen, but we could also add apps and widgets, folders and page. So apps and widgets are shortcuts on your home screen. So if I press and hold on music, I can now drag this to my home screen like that. Or alternatively, I can just select into apps, press and hold on the one I want, and move it about like that. And with any of these apps, I can press and hold and move them about like so. But let's say I want a widget, so I press and hold now, apps and widgets. I've taken into my app tray, but I click widgets. And these are ones that are pre-installed by Samsung or come with applications that you may install on the device. And let's say I want um, a widget for my Gmail. So I press and hold on that and I select it and I'm moving it to the screen. You can see how the apps are moving based on where I position it because of the size. So let's put it there. because so it needs to be a certain size. I can choose which folder it's related to, and I can actually resize the widget like that, but I'm gonna leave it as that, so I tap off. But what I could do is I could drag and move the Twitter icon there. I could then press and hold on that widget, and I could resize it across like so, and I've resized my widget. I could press and hold on here again, and I can add a folder, give it a name, and I've got a little folder, and now I could drag the bits into my folder if I chose, like that. And now I can access apps like that. Or I can press and hold and I can add page. And that's just like doing the pinch and zoom overview and pressing plus, it's added an additional page there as well. So that's the main ways that you can um, personalize your home screens. You can go into your apps and your widgets and press and hold on other things that you might, might want to add. And when you've got full screens, just drag it to the side to sort of scroll around to the screen you want to add it to. Happy. To remove things, press and hold, drag it up like that to remove. And the options you get will depend on what you're actually using on screen. So if I press and hold on music, you'll see I've got the option to create, create folder or remove it. Or I can be a bit more clever and I can drag it down to these little bars here. It's a quick way of getting through to different windows and home screens and dragging it around. The other way to get to the home screen settings is to scroll down from the top, click settings, under device, 
go to your wallpaper and that will change your home screen and lock screen as we showed originally. So that's how you change some of your settings on your home screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3.